Okay. Hi everyone. It is Glenda. How are you today? Uh, I have done a few uh, uh, videos in the past and I, there was a long stretch where I haven't done any videos, but I think I'm going to go back to them. Uh, today is I'm going to show you how, and I'm sorry for the wash machine, how uh, my whips, I have lots of whips, but I'm only going to show you the ones that I'm currently working on and uh, talk a little talk about a little bit about Dee Dee's shop. Okay, so um, let's start off with haul. I don't really have a lot of haul. I am trying to work on all the projects I have right now. Um, if you, <laughs> if I went to add them up, it's a lot of money. And I think it's time that I either do the project or um, try and sell the pattern or the kit. Uh, a couple years ago, I was starting to build up uh, a stash from for DMC floss. Uh, I'm no longer doing that. I am buying kits, actually. I really don't want a lot of stuff around. Uh, we are in an apartment now, and I... I just don't want a lot of clutter. I want to do a project and I want to do what I feel like stitching. Um, I don't really have a pattern of how I stitch. I did start on um, that wheel thing. Um, you know, one night I'll do this project and one night I'll do this that project. I don't really like it. I like doing one project at a time, but then two weeks later I'll change it. So, you know what? I'm gonna stitch what I feel like stitching for the day or the night or whatever it is and enjoy it okay that's what we're here for is to enjoy our stitching so anyway I, I got a few things that I purchased recently or maybe in the last four months and there's not and it's uh, not floss or anything like that so this is um, it's a really it's a pin but I made it into a needle minder um, I don't know how to get the part at the back off so I, I put a magnet on it and it's, it's makers it's and it, why I bought it because it has a Canadian flag um, and it is from Makeology on Etsy and I like it and actually she had a nice mug that I bought but I, I didn't bring it in um, okay so I bought a couple of project bags and I'm not a person <laughs> I would just rather put it in um, uh, one of these okay <laughs> that's where most of my projects go I'm not um, I hate to say this I'll I'll I'll, fit, I'll stitch a project and I'll just throw it in the bag or you know I'm very poor at putting things back neatly I don't know why so anyway I got these two project bags from another girl in Canada I think she's in Hamilton it's Kim's Kim Stitch and Stuff. And I got these two project bags. They're large because uh, they hold about five or six projects. And here's, here's, I got the red one, this one. And they all come with, um, she made a little pouch. Now, I bought these when she first started out. And unfortunately, she didn't have like a purse charm. But I think now she, she has purse charms because I asked her about it and she was just getting going. So. Um, they were pretty good and they're well made okay because I just throw the stuff uh, on the floor or in my closet so they're they're very good and what does she have in the fabric oh she ha she tries to match the color but she has she has a lot more variety now and she actually uh, ships out pretty quick and I thought her prices were reasonable um, she also does needle books and I thought okay well I'll do one um, this is more a Christmas gift for myself, but I'll do one because um, I have a St. Bernard. And so I asked her to make her want me one, so she did this. I bought, I had to get the fabric for her because uh, not everyone has St. Bernard fabric. Um, so she did this and it's really cute. She added these special buttons, the dog, the wolf, and here it is, my needles. Um, and I, I thought this was really neat because it's the color of St. Bernard. And at the back, I put my needle miners. 
So, and she has pouches in, in the back and the front. And the same, and there's a St. Bernard and some of my needles. So yeah, I uh, was very pleased with it and uh, the buttons were a, a, a big surprise for me. That is really cute and I do love it. So you can check her out at Kim's Stuff, Kim's Stitch and Stuff. Oh, and um, well, if you haven't guessed it, I live in Canada and I'm actually um, one girl I bought this needle minder this needle minder and I'll try to say her name Colava Boutique she's in Quebec and this is re really a good price I have to say a very good price and I just I just looked on on her shop right now and she does have um, more of a variety again she's just starting out so it's always nice to support a new shop and the last purchase I have is um, it's an embroidery kit. She is Kirky Press, and she does embroidery kits. Um, when I when I was young, how I got started in needlepoint and cross stitching was I hurt my knee in in high school, so I had I couldn't play basketball for one year, and I don't watch TV or anything, so I. Uh, went to a needlepoint class at school at night and I learned embroidery and I like it so I seen her shop and I thought okay I'll go back to it so she has started a, a sample club I'm not sure if you could join but um, her first sample her main was is this kit and um, you get lost with it she has a very cute needle minder Um, scissors. I never can find. You, you know, you never can find your scissors. I don't know why. And I oh, and this came with this kit. This is this a sample of stitches, and it has a fabric. Uh, I'll open open another one because I bought a whole bunch of them. We have the strawberry. And when you open the kit, it's really nicely packaged. Really. So here is the picture. Here is the fabric with the needle that you use to stitch up your, your project. Has a needle, floss, and no, it doesn't come with this little embroidery hoop. I don't think so. So see what I mean? I don't really deal with putting things away. Very good. So they're only about 20, 25 bucks. And I thought that was really a good price um, to get back into embroidery, get it, samples. You know, I haven't started one. I'm, I'm coming up to doing it's tax season soon. So I think after tax season, when my mind is uh, a little better. So, there, so that's all my purchases, okay? Uh, so we're going to go into whips and I'll show you, these are the whips that I have, that I put in, um, I was going to do a rotation, but you know what, I'll do them when I do them, or I'll do them in whatever order I feel like. But right, so the first one is, uh, Random Threads by Eric Michaels, um, and I'm just doing in the, uh, colors call for I don't really change patterns I'm not into uh, I'm not I don't have any color coordination I guess so here's where I am and it's it's a quite easy stitch because I did all this last night so it is uh, compared to my other project this is a fast stitch now um, what I've done is I've done it on another project. So there's two projects on here. And I kind of like that idea. So I have this beautiful, big white fabric. And then here I have the hearts from Marabilia. Marabilia. So that's that. And I have the other hearts that's going in the middle. And I think I might try that. Is getting one big piece and doing two or three projects on it. 
uh, one I can't count and to cut it. I don't want to do that because my luck I will miscount. Um, and um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up when I have the project in front of me. So the next project I have, I don't, see I have the patterns and, see I'm not very organized. I'm not like Jennifer, Jennifer Upton. She is my person I love to watch on YouTube. I can't believe how many projects she has and she tries different things and she's just fun. Um, so this one is Northern Lights by Carolyn Manley. It is, okay, it's the same pattern, different colors. I like it though. It's, you know, it's not for everyone, but we all are different, right? And here's my start. And I do like it. I, at first, you, you have to get kind of into it to see the colors, but I do like it. I really do. So, you know, if you want a simple stitch and um, something to work on, she has one sunflowers I'm going to get. Definitely going to get. But again, I need to get a few projects other than my hair. Um, I think it's Color Cotton. I'm not sure the name. And they have threads called St. Bernard. I really want to get uh, the thread and, and do a simple project because I have one of St. Bernard. And I thought that was kind of neat. Okay, so the next project is... Uh, a Camille. Um, it's a Chinese kit. Here it is. On the same point. Um, and, I, and I will flip between Ada and, and uh, Eva Wave or Lugana. And here it is. And I think this is the right way up. So I actually started at the hardest part. <laughs> um, so it's this here. And... Um, and after that, I will really enjoy it. There's really a lot of change in colors and stuff like that. And yes, um, I know you're probably all cringing, but I do like the tape around it. Um, I tried, um, I don't have a sewing machine, or I, I do, but I gotta see if it, it um, I forgot what you call it, stitches up to the corners. But I also tried the, the thread thing and um, the smell just got to me. And I, I uh, was violently sick because of that. So I just use the tape. I don't mind the tape. So uh, the next project, <laughs> this one's a funny one. This one's really funny. <laughs> and I'm not gonna apologize for the crinkle because we all love it. Don't deny it. Is this. I really love the colors. Um, I'm not a person who likes to, to stitch yellow. Okay, for some reason I don't like yellow. So anyway, here it is. So I get the kit. <laughs> okay, so where is it? Here, here's where I've, I've started. But when I first got it, I thought, okay, the pattern is printed on, and I'm trying to figure it all out. Where the, where does this stitching go? And then I realized it's the background. Okay, duh. But anyway, I do love it. The colors really pop out, and uh, yeah, yeah, I do like it. But like, you feel like a, a dummy when you realize, oh my god, that's the, that's the background, not the pattern. <laughs> you gotta have a laugh. The next one is, and I don't know if I have the picture for this guy. I don't think I took it out. No is it's a fall and it's um i'll just show it to you now the first one is the squirrel it's a fall project um, um and both of these kids have too much um back stitching so the next time i buy something i'm gonna watch the back stitching because oh my god all my projects have that um i wanted to save the squirrel to the end but i said forget it so i'm going to continue on doing him and again, it's orange and yellows. And like I said, I'm not a yellow person, but I really like that one. So there's that. Um, the next project is from Little Dove Designs. And she's on Etsy. 
and she does this nice little package. Um, I bought a kit. I'm not sure if she still sells the kits. Um, there's a few more I want to get, but again, I got to do a few. And I can't show you the pattern, but here it is. Here is how it looks. And again, I bought the whole kit, and it's really cute. Um, I just have to stitch it up. And the fabric came with it. And let's see. There, there is my progress. Yeah, I like it. Um, what I really don't like is type is stitching words. I, I have learned. I don't know why. I just don't like it. Um, here is a Russian kit. I can make it as a pillow or or um, frame it. I'm going to make it as a pillow. It even has the backing for it. Um, but there it is. And it's, it's in the cut, or when I'll show it to you when you're stitching it. It's quite different colors. Of course, it, I think designers need to, to try to get more realistic pictures. But anyway, here's my start on it. However, there is one thread that I think I'm going to run out of. So I have to ask the, the seller. She's on eBay. Um, how I can get some of this. It's that um, different, it's wool. And some of them are one strand, two strands, three strands. But they all provide needles and all that. Okay, so there's that. The next project, and this is a gift, and I know Br uh, Bridget isn't watching, so. It is these, here it is. And there is a lot of back stitching on this. It is, um, no, there is a lot of back stitching. Sorry, I was thinking of something and I don't have the project. Oh no, here it is, sorry. This is where I'm at. Here we go. Bees. It's, it, it, it's, um, when you really stitch it up, it's, quite better it's quite uh, more brighter than the picture i really like it but my god there's a lot of back stitching there's a lot of um, half stitches um not half stitches but with one thread or one way it's a lot but i do like it um a lot of color changes <laughs> but i'm not going to enjoy the back stitching there's that one yeah, okay then we have, I think it's a Russian kit. We have these feathers. Now, um, I'm going. I'm doing this on Lagana, and here, it's just a small start. I'm not sure if I really like it there. That's the way it starts. It started at the top. I'm not sure. Now the other issue I have is it got some. It got some. Um, ink stains on it I, I know I won't be able to get it out so either I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that I might just I don't know um, white out <laughs> or try it or uh, stitch white to cover them up but I'm not sure I like I like the colors on that that's my issue there and you know it's a small start and sometimes you need to t uh, stitch more than uh to figure out if you like it uh the next one is the october opal from Mar marabilia now i'm not sure i like dye fabric i'm i guess i'm old-fashioned i like it on white i to me the colors pop but i see everyone's on on youtube and they're gorgeous so I dyed my fab some fabric and I have started this. I guess I will wait to the end to see if I like it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I am a person. I don't know why I like white. I just do. Sorry. I just I just do. Maybe when it's completed, I will like it in October for my, my birthday month and my mom's. Um, the next one, again, is uh, a kit. And I 
just started this as a small start. Um, so a lot of color changes right at the front and then they, at the top. And then I guess as the flowers build, get bigger and bigger. But that's my start. And it, it is on black. And all I do is um, I have a white table and I can see. Um, I wasn't stitching uh, a lot um, last fall. Is um, I found I was tired and I got new glasses. So if you find you, you're tired and you, you know you need glasses, go and get glasses. Because my God, now I feel I can stitch and have no problems. And I, I don't get tired. I don't strain my eyes. And um, yeah. So and my last... Uh, whip and I think I'm going to do this after I do the thread the thread one is this I really like this I don't know I'm into flowers and here's my start it's a good start and, and uh, yes I will tape it because it's starting to th thread and I think I started a little too close to the edge and I'll probably have a big big gap here but that's okay I will I haven't really ever framed anything, but I guess I should start <laughs> or do something with the projects because I know uh, they'll end up at Goodwill. Um, so that's all my whips. I got tons more. Um, they're uh, they're all packed away. Um, so that's my goal is to work on these. And if I get two or three done, then I'll buy something. But I'm not going to... Uh, I watch a lot of floss too, you know, uh, uh, one, two, three stitch and I go on to all Etsy and all that. Uh, for me, I'm just, I want to get my, my stash down. You want to call it stash. I want to get my projects done and then I'm going to stitch what I feel like it. And I really like the patterns, the whole kits. I don't really want to have a lot of floss around. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of money. And I found too, if it's if the thread sticking around for two or three years, it's not as uh, as nice to work with if it was newer. Um, I don't buy a lot of specialty floss because I have to have it uh, uh, mailed in. Because uh, where I live, there's there's Michaels, and you know, you're, and right now you're lucky to even get into Michaels. Um, I've bought a few flosses from. Uh, and I by, by Rolanda, and sometimes if one of these need a specialty floss, I will buy it. But other than that, I don't really, um, I like DMC, except for, I think it's 666, yellow, that yellow. Ugh. Anyway, um, so that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't really want to make them too long. Um, and I, I love seeing all the different um, floss tubes, how everyone is, you know, we all work on different things, different projects. We change it up. Um, we all have different styles. And I, th I think it's really nice. And it's a great community. Uh, so my plan is really just to do that. Um, nothing. I'm kind of a boring stitcher, if you want to put it. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about Dee Dee's shop uh, that's my dog so if you're not interested you can um, uh, I guess go and watch another stitcher um, other than that um, ha thank you for watching my video and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will will be on more um, you won't will be smaller because the shorter videos because I really stitch on one or two projects um so what i want to do right now is show a couple needle minders and i don't know if i can get double here double uh, i have an etsy shop uh did these needle minders uh i've been on for a year i had it in another shop but i moved it all the come here all the needle minders she doesn't want to come uh, and to to do these needle minders um we're Pink is hip. Um, she's a St. Bernard. And um, I want to thank everyone who has had support 
her shop. Um, yes, yeah, she gets. The, I'll say she gets the 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 bunnies or the profits. Um, she eats good, and she's had surgery, so um, <laughs> she she spends her money well. But anyway, I I just want to show you a couple of Mina Miners in my shop, and the most. I guess the most popular one is this kitten. And I'm glad she's not here because she doesn't like cats. She's quite upset with me because I have a lot of cat needle miners in the shop and not a St. Bernard. Um, here is Shergo Skull. And I have a lot of Starbucks. And I have a few more to go. And I should, for, for Canada, I should really look for Tim Horton. Some Tim Horton stuff and make them. And St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And I assume we'll be posting bunch of them on so here is this one st patrick's and another one and i will soon post them i will be taking off the loop for that um so that's it for today i hope you enjoy it and um someone's waiting to go outside so now i gotta get um all dressed up because it's cold out so uh please keep warm um, keep on stitching and remember one stitch at a time gets a project done faster. Thank you and have a great day.